Today I want to cover off on libraries and sharing. So libraries live in a few different spots in the, in the app. One, we've got our library all files, which we're looking at here. And this is all the files that we've shared, we've imported, or we've shot that will show up here. And I've got the ability when I tap on there, I can come in here and I can do a search. So if I've tagged a video through our tagging system, I could say, okay, show me my T's. Those videos will be filtered out for us. And then I can also come through and I've got a count so I can see that I've shared 291. If I want to look at those, I could tap on them and that will show me those. And also I could come in instead of tapping on my private, we've got a pre-fill when we tap on search that I can tap on private. That was another way to come through and do our filtering. So it's okay if you see a couple different videos that are the same. Notice I've done two different shares with two different individuals. And an icon will appear if you've invited an athlete, they've joined, and you share a video. If I share a video, we'll do an example here. So if I come through here and I select share, and I'm going to select Pat, and whenever I tap on him, select him, see this, and hit send, it'll share it with him, but I don't have Pat's icon showing up because... Pat hasn't yet joined. So when we come through here and we want to look at a different library, I've got libraries for teams. So kind of the same setup here. I've got 144 shared and I've got 10 that are private. So if I tap on the 10 to my library and if I come over here and tap on my 10 that are private and I want to share this with the team, I can just again, I can long press on it. I can tap on share. And then I can come through and I can tap on everyone here. Or I could come through and I could show everyone. And this allows me to come through and it shows me everybody that's in my any of my workspaces that are built. So that allows me to share something from one library to another library or even to other individuals or an individual as well. So if I come down and also the third place where this lives is when I'm looking at my individuals. So now you'll notice again, so I have this individual here, there's their icon and their icon shows up on the shared videos. If I wanna come in and add a video into this library without sharing it to them, if we look at our chat for this person, we've got a video sitting here. Okay, so if I come back to my library, I can either film a library by hitting my record button and actually filming them. It automatically marks them, tags them as the individual that's in the video so that it comes to their library. But I could also import by coming up and selecting more, tapping on import. And then if I select from my on form library, and I'll just go into my all files library and we'll select this video right here. If it's not downloaded, it's going to download it real quick. You saw that little circle in that bottom right hand. And if I tap on import, this video now imports into this library. And notice now I've got nine that are shared and I've got one that's private. If I want to come through here and actually, let's say I've walked through, I've done my markup and everything, I can tap on a video, get it downloaded that I previously marked up, and I can come over hit my three dots up top, I can tap on share. And because I'm in Steven's library, so wherever, whatever library you're in, it's gonna to default to that library. I can simply come over here and tap, and I could say, see this, compare, send it to Steven. So now that's done. I can close out of that video. And now when we come into our chat, now we have our video sitting in there. So you see, we've got our additional video with our note that we went in there and wrote. So what I wanted to do is just really kind of go through and the, distinguish the difference in what the library is and what the chat is with an individual and how we can have videos private. So I can shoot all my raw videos into a library and I might shoot 10 videos but then I only take one of those videos, mark it up, and then I wanna share it with the individual. I can share that with a team, I can share that with any number of individuals or a single person within the, my workspaces, any of my workspaces as well. So I hope that helps. Please reach out if you have any questions.